So you gotta check Marlin or a similar hardtail that you're looking to upgrade. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be upgrading my friend Justin's Trek Marlin 7. I'll be giving him some free parts, talking him through which upgrades I recommend for his bike next. I'll show you guys the before and after shots of what these parts look like on his bike. And hopefully, by the end of this video, I'll inspire you guys to get out and upgrade your bikes as well. First things you should look to upgrade is like your contact points where the pedals, the grips, the saddle, and then definitely as you start riding more trails and you ride, want to ride like a little bit more aggressive, the tires. Now I can't help Justin with the saddle and the tires today, but what I do have is I have a company, I have a company right here, Mark Cycling. They send me these pedals and these grips for my YouTube channel. I thought, what? a better opportunity than to go ahead, hook a fellow veteran up, get him some good pedals for his bike. I'll show you guys a close up of the difference between these two pedals and grips. These are the Mark Pro grips. So this is kind of like their top level grip. Get a close up of that. So any of you guys that are into riding a little bit more, have been looking around at grips. These are similar to like a P and W grip. You can see right there, they got a good little spot on the top for your hand will fit really good grip, nice, soft grip, a little bit thicker than the stock grip. It's gonna give you just a little bit more comfort. So let's go ahead and get those things thrown onto there. Let's go ahead and take a look at these grips up close in person. You can see the stock ones versus these Mark Pro grips. I mean, you can feel the difference too. These just like, like these are nice plush, kind of gives you a little bit of extra cushion, a little bit of extra grip versus this. It's just kind of barely anything there. Your hand will kind of slip off of it a little bit easier. So definitely an upgrade there on the uh, pro grips. All right, now we got those grips installed. Go ahead and put away this tool right now. We'll move on to the pedals. The way I like to do is I like to kind of rotate it up to where I can use my weight and leverage and kind of just push down on it. Sometimes they'll be a little bit tighter this time it wasn't that tight, it was nice and loose. Push that pedal off, pull these Mark pedals out. Thank you, Mark Cycling. And you can see right here, let's take a look at the difference of these. Not only does it have those nice metal pins, it's also got quite a bigger platform and a slightly more narrow profile. Also, you'll notice right here on this profile, see how that's a, that's a flat line, completely flat? This one has more of a, a concave profile. See how it gets a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, a little bit wider? A little bit more of a concave profile, which is gonna increase that grip on your shoes when you're riding. And let's see, sometimes I'll see how this one has a L and an R, that's what I'm looking for right now. Okay. So that has an L right there, so that'd be for the left side. So let's look for the R on this one. That has the R right there. Not sure if you can see that in video. So that one will go on the right side. So now we'll go ahead and get this side off. So once again, what I'll do is I'll rotate it around until the wrench is kind of at the right angle so I can use my weight. Just kind of push down on that. And you'll see that that thread right there is actually going to the right, like righty tight. that's a reverse thread. But if you always just keep in mind that it's going towards the back of the bike to loosen it and towards the front of the bike to tighten it, you'll never go wrong. Once again, get to that stopping point. I'll give it just like a little, just like a, a little nudge, just a tiny bit more. All right, there we go. We got those pedals on there. We got those new grips on there. Those are two of your main contact points. Now, for you, Justin, you're asking me like, what other upgrades you should look into? Definitely the saddle is probably the next upgrade that I would do, because no matter what you're riding on, whether you're riding on road or you're riding out on the dirt trails or gravel trails, you're gonna want just a little bit better saddle. If you guys haven't seen my video on the saddle I'm running right now on the WTB Rocket saddle, I'll throw a link up top for that one. But there's saddles that just are a little bit thicker. I'm a guy, I don't ride with like a chamois with like that padded shorts. So I like a little bit thicker saddle, but that's something, it's such a personal preference. It's hard to tell people like really what saddle to get. 
And then the next upgrade, if you wanna ride trails more, like going out and riding Speed King like we did, you're gonna to wanna to look at tires. So we'll go ahead, show you guys some shots, some before and after of the pedals and the grips that were on this bike and the pedals and the grips you got on this bike now. Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna know, but mostly get stoked, go ride, and have some fun, people.